Now, where, where is your brain? There it is. Brain damage for the slammage. You can't be a flux construct too and expect me not to kill you. Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, the sky. This episode, also the sky. Ooh, it looks like we're not the only person taking flight today. Perhaps we'll extract some scales. I don't know. We'll see how things time up because we are headed for that very small sky island just off the tip of what I believe is... Oh, it's Zelda. Never mind. I thought it was going to be like Dinral since we were here in the Elden region. Apparently not. Maybe we could still stand the harvest scales from Zelda? I don't know. We've already asked so much of the poor girl. We pulled a sword out of her friggin' forehead. I mean, that's about as much as you can ask of anyone. Really? And here we come for a crash landing. Mm. And ooh, look at that. Beautiful job, self. Beautiful job, just as I drew it up. And what do we get from our adventure here? We get, oh, well, fine. We may as well use Riju. We don't even have a bow equipped, so we can't. But now we can give this friend a nice shocking treat. Delicious. Now open the chest for me. In the midst of all of this battle and commotion, what do we have here? A mighty Zonite spear. It's clear to me then. Oh no 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 no! No! <laughs> I was about to send my poor bird friend all the way back where we came from, and that, believe it or not, is not actually what I would like to do. I would like to extend them out this way, bring them back in slowly, set them there, and we'll head on over to the next Sky Island. If you couldn't tell, and I mean you probably could, either that or you had watched prior episodes, we're combing through the sky. We've crossed off a lot of it here in the northwestern portion. Really, I think all of this is done, if I may be so bold to make such a claim. And now we're working our way into the northeast, heading exactly towards this pin. And then I think we'll just continue to move in this general uh, clockwise motion. I don't necessarily have any uh, any like grand plan about it, just more or less, hey, I've never been to these places. Let's go to these places. Thankfully, as many people have suggested, the hero's path mode on the map has been exceedingly helpful in doing this. Jiminy Christmas, my poor plane's already about to pass out. Well, see you later. No, goodness me. Thankfully, they give us a, a wheel. Yes, of course. Let me ride my freaking wheel out of the sky. Yeah, my poor fans. All right, another weapon, perhaps? It would seem that these chests on these smaller islands have had weapons and shields, and indeed, the trend continues. We do have room for them, so it's not inherently a bad thing. So let's... Can we? Can we extract body parts from the Zelda? Can we extract body parts from the Zelda? All right, well, we don't have very many arrows left, so we shan't be wasting any more with the... Uh, how we say egregious experiments that uh, quite possibly would bear no fruit uh for another time for another time now this time we're headed the purple land now i am a little concerned shall we say with how this looks and i'll tell you why you see recently a couple of days ago i traveled to a very similar looking sky island and what i thought was going to be inhabited by a flux construct you see those sorts of islands of by and large, always been inhabited by our cube-like friends. However, it was not the case. We now know that it's not 100% going to be the case. There very well could be a hideous King Gliok occupying it. And frankly, if that's the case, I don't even—I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't. <laughs> I, I wanted to say, if that's the case, I'm going to flip him the bird and go away and by flipping the bird i mean i'm gonna toss tolan at him but i can't i can't i can't commit to that i mean what it, what kind of adventure would i be what sort of hero would i be if i just tuck tail at the first sign of a giant freaking lizard i mean goodness gracious have you ever seen a godzilla movie i mean i guess godzilla is kind of the hero so maybe it's not the best analogy either way i don't want to fight another king gliok is my point however the game might see fit to scroodle mcdoodle me please just give us a flux construct my friend we're gonna have to give our friend here our bird friend another charge i don't know that i want to give it a big charge so it doesn't i don't know that we need it i don't know that we need a big charge to get all the way over there so let's just feed it 
So a couple, a couple little baby ones. How many do we think we need? We have barely half of one battery. I say we bring ourselves two full batteries. Yeah, a little more than two full batteries. We'll see. Am I right? No. No, I'm not, because I would like to try and land this thing over there. Well, it probably doesn't even make sense to land it over there, does it? And it's going to pass out anyways, so let's just get some elevation. Gosh darn it, you want to die in the sky? Well, I will humbly oblige you. See you later. Where you at? Look at how they tumble. Oh, they've disappeared before they even hit the ground. How sad. Oh god, we might... We might not have the right elevation for this. Hmm. 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 You're probably wondering how I found myself here. <laughs> huh. Well then, what... What could be the solution to this problem? Um... Fingers crossed there's a little alcove perhaps we can ascend up through? Is there is, is, is there any such luck? Right around this corner? Alcove? Nothing up top it would seem either. And frankly, if we go any higher, it's just going to toss us down because you can't climb a, a horizontal surface. It's no longer climbing, doing like the monkey bars, except there's no bars. There's just stones and dirt. And pain and suffering and regret. Oh man. Well, I suppose I suppose we could drop down, spawn up another Harry, and fly over, or we could warp over to the cube. But I just want to check out this backside here. Cross our fingers, our toes, our eyeballs, our elbows, our knees, and say please. It seems that our pleas have been ignored. Very well. Very well, game. I see how it is. I'll keep that in mind once I get back to this place, all right? I did notice that it was indeed a flux construct, probably a three, maybe a two. Either which way, I'll have no mercy for you. No? I think of myself as a merciful hero. All right? Chaotic neutral, some would say. Lawful good, I would say, in defense. Either which way, the lawful side is getting pushed down, repressed. And the chaos will rain down upon your cuboid head. Because of my own mistake, I suppose. I don't know. It's not really your fault <laughs> that I did this. I could have stood to climb higher with my bird here. And we're running out of zonite already. I mean, we are going to be back in the depths here uh, pretty soon, probably. So it's not inherently troubling. But it is something to keep in mind. Because we definitely do have a finite amount of them. Okay, we are a little bit too light there. We are pulling up the map. Not what I'm... No, no, uh-uh. No. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. It'll work eventually. If you press the same button over and over again, eventually it'll do the thing you want. Now, this time, I'm not going to repeat my mistake, and I'm instead going to climb in altitude. Now, granted, we probably won't run into the same issue we just did because this is a brand spanking new bird. But still, better safe than sorry, right? Still hasn't spawned in, and it looks like there's going to be a chest that spawns in with it. I was wondering if there wouldn't be like a chest on the arm or the shoulder or something of the construct, because that's something that we have seen before, and typically when that is the case, it is an old map. And when it's not the case, I don't necessarily know that I have any recollection of what that means. I'm going to assume that no matter what, it's going to be an old map, but it very well could be instead a Sage's Will. Which I think would put us at CX? Uh, I don't know. Either which way, we've run out of battery. We'll just coast on down there. I hope you're doing well, cube friend. Man, this bird is already like, peace out, dude. I've done enough. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, at least we've gotten close enough for the dude to render in. Too many Christmas and they almost charged up our battery again. Let's do it again. Yeah. Whee! Well, fine. Our poor fans plummeting down, denting the foreheads of... Wow, what is that? That Melania? It's so purple. It's so purple, the horse god. Beautiful pond. All right, friend. Well, friend, quote unquote. I use that term too loosely here. You're no friend of mine. You're an acquaintance. 
I suppose. And it does indeed have a chest fuse to it. So what if we just come down here? Hello! It's me, your greatest nightmare. Oh, we didn't get anywhere near enough hits in that as I would have hoped. It is a three. Where are the... Oh, but your weak spot. What? No, no, you don't touch my weak spot. My weak spot's my entire body. <laughs> Where do it be? Ooh, it's over here. On your shoulder. I'm gonna take that. Yep. No, you don't You don't need it, do you? I didn't think so. Now, what would be a good weapon for us to use here? I suppose the blue wax frocks hander. Where, 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 where's the weakness? Let's just take this. Why not? <laughs> While it's here, I mean, hey. Old map, indeed it is exactly as I had hoped it would be. Giving us another X on the underworld. Man, there is a significant amount of them in that northeastern corner. Can't wait to go investigate that there in short order here. But, all things in good time. The feet of this foiled beast. Can I have you? Oh no? Do you love me? Could you ever learn to love me? No? You learn to cube me? <laughs> Goodness me! Have you no appreciation for all of the hard work I've put in slaughtering your brothers? And or no 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 I wow it killed me that killed me how heinous you're gonna make me eat fruit oh Mason okay well when you eat cooked fruit you might as well supplement the cooked fruit with some raw fruit mm, delicious and there we go maybe now we'll be in better shape I mean I didn't actually think we were in bad shape at all to begin with but lo and behold oh very kind of you to present to me your cube. Very good. Yes, now we utilize the power of our bananas. And it's not something you want to hear when someone's assaulting you. Banana power, come to me. Can we recall them? Can I recall the whole thing? Bring it down here. No. Don't you touch me with your cube, boy. Cheech among us. Let me, let me do this one. Get on here. Can I? Oh, it's already gone. It's already gone. I see how it is. It's okay. It's okay. You can you can throw your body at me because you've got but one hit left in your big cubie body. Yes, are you ready for it? Very good. Now bring it here. Let me hop upon this. And then we will raise up to the heavens. And you will be slaughtered. Saving me my rocket shield as well. Whee! Let me just give you a bashing. Wow, that threw us to the ground quicker than quick. Cheech among us. It's nice, too, that we just picked up some Zonai devices. Well, actually, not Zonai devices, but weapons, construct weapons, so that we can fuse one to this. The question then becomes, do I want the spear or the greatsword? Probably the spear, really, though it is a long throw. Oh, man. I just don't use the two-handed weapons, obviously, right? Like, come on. I guess long throw is useless, but two-handed weapons arguably just as useless. Very good. This was an exceedingly beneficial track to our adventure. Now, there is yet one more marking here. The green. Where is the green, pray tell? The green is in the direction of the cube. Is it that? It is indeed. It, it would make a heck of a lot more sense to float off from the Mogasari Shrine then. It's markedly closer, plus you have the added benefit of the low gravity. And... If we even deem it necessary, we could ascend to the top of the cube itself, the top of the maze, the walls, that is, and zoomed on down from there with the added height. I'm not certain that that will be necessary, but it's a good thing to be aware of, just in case. What? Where is it? Where'd it go? Is that it over there? No, that's blue. Green. Green! Hello, my friend! You have fairies for me. I hope. You heard I was coming, did you not? You've prepared? I certainly hope so, otherwise I'll be extremely disappointed. I'll be speaking to management. Alright, Link's not a Karen. But, I don't know. He could have a Karen haircut if he really wanted to. <laughs> oh, and if your name's Karen, please don't be offended. I don't have any offense with it or any people named Karen. It's just, you know, a meme. So, there you have it. Anyways, dropping down, offending the clouds as we enter them and exit in short order. Fairies? No. Birds, though, however, and a hover with plenty of batteries. Wow. Very nice. 
We certain there's no fa- Oh, fairies. Oh, fairies, hello! From the sky, Link shoveling them into his pocket. They're like, ah! No! Silly fairies, this is what you were put here for. To be housed in the pockets of the hero. Come down here. Succumb to your destiny, it is beyond your control. You cannot delay the inevitable. Except maybe you can, maybe I can- eh, Oh, no, I, that's not the fairy. What kind of fairy is that? <laughs> that's not a fairy. Fine. It would seem that that fairy is a little bit disobedient, and as such may in fact remain free. This fairy, however, you're coming with me. Now we've got means of transportation here. We've got two of them. I think that this one will be the one I want. No, I don't want. But where are we gonna take it? You know what? Maybe I don't even need it because what I do want to investigate. You can see here, I haven't been to this specific little island, but I have been to this one. So we can just warp over here. Is there anything else, though? I know that I I have been there, okay? Been all over the Sky Mine, Jiminy Christmas. The Sky Mine done been fully investigated. Yeah, just this, this portion specifically. All right, well, off to the Natak Shrine. It's convenient enough. It's always nice when you've got a quick warp over to where you're trying to get to and you don't, in fact, have to sail aimlessly. It's not that I have a hard time communicating or commentating or talking in general. Goodness knows part of the whole appeal of the channel is that I literally cannot shut up. And sure, some people aren't necessarily fans of that, but those are people that probably aren't watching at this point. <laughs> if you are watching, you're probably into the talking. Anyways, that being said, it's a little bit easier to maintain the talking, the commentary, the dialogue when I'm doing stuff other than just floating. Now where, it's back this way? We have the availability to see the aura, but where's the aura? We are headed directly towards it. And it's going to be below us, right? It's one of those uh, quest islands where we have to take a picture of the ancient Hyrulean text. That's not it now, is it? Oh, have we been there? Uh, yeah, we've been there. I suppose that dude just respawned. Because it would be very unlike me to see a con- Oh, it's way above us, Chickamongus. Okay. I say it'd be very unlike me to come across a construct and allow it to maintain its, uh, you know, life. <laughs> I, I tend to kill them, believe it or not. So I'm going to have to believe that it has just since respawned. You think this will launch us up there high enough? I don't. I do not. I do not believe so. Uh, let's check out, well, what does this machine have for us? It's got homing cart steak. Mm, eh. Nothing. Absolutely nothing that'll help us garner any semblance of elevation. I mean, I suppose we could, like, blast ourselves with the friggin' cannon and then ascend ourselves to heaven, but that's not going to be anywhere near the correct plane of existence that we're trying to get to. I'm sure, they'd have to give us a, a something here, right? This is a cart for taking off with the wings. But no, they're like, here's a bunch of plants. All right, I mean, it's fine. We do have the means of auto-building our own ride. I would just had rather have saved, if at all possible. Harry, your time has come once more, my son. Bring yourself forward. Prepare yourself for the ritual. Should we just do the standard iteration of Harry? I think so. Because we just need height. We don't actually need to go forward at all. I mean, going forward would help because we are going to need to, but we don't, like, need it, need it. I know I'm kind of talking in circles there. Let me take another look here. Yeah, no, as long as we can just get some real significant elevation, we should be able to tolonize ourselves over to that Sky Island. Can I not? I can't shake out the... There we go. I was like, why, why are you hindering my ability to whip it out? That's illegal. <laughs> Thankfully, the out has been whipped. And attach this to it. Upward and onward. Let us get elevated, my friends. My, my friends? They say, see you later. Blake, we're gonna, we're gonna live here. We're gonna, we're gonna start a commune. This is our home now. All right, well. Good luck with that. <laughs> Look at how they gather below us, Harry. It's just you and I now. The question now becomes whether or not we're going to need to fill Harry with any charges throughout this ascent. I don't 
want to. <laughs> I, don't, actually, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to need to either because we've essentially reached the same altitude as the island we're trying to get to. Now we just need to ascend a bit beyond it so that we have the ability to glide on over. That shouldn't be a problem. My goodness gracious. It's easier than a peanut butter and mayonnaise sandwich. Come here. Let's go. Now Tolan joins us. Once there's someone that needs to be blown, Tolan's like, oh, oh I'm here. <laughs> Ever the enthusiastic lad, isn't he? And we're thankful for it. Now, we've since learned that these things always plummet. So we'll just take a photo of it up here. Maybe? Um, this one did not plummet. Amazing. Yes, we've learned that they always plummet. Proceeds to not plummet. Fascinating. Well, there you have it. We've gotten the photo that we needed here. And as such, this portion of the map is checked off. Now, we have not investigated all of these little things here. I don't think those are significant, though. Could come back to bite me later. Could have been a good move. I don't know. This is also one that we need to get to. And then this thing? Okay. He's trying to comb. This hole is a mess. A spider webby action. Looks like someone sprayed silly string all over it. So I suppose, uh, I mean, it just depends on the elevation. But we should be able to get there from here. And we haven't investigated this at all. That looks somewhat significant to me. Everything over here looks relatively uh, accomplished. Taken care of. Crossed off the list, so to speak. Um, but we'll see. Because... Uh, Stands to reason that there are possibly things I've missed, too. This is something that I thought of in the lead-up to this episode. That while, yes, utilizing the Hero's Path mode is going to afford me the ability to uh, remember <laughs> where I've been and where I haven't, that doesn't necessarily mean that the places I have been, I've actually fully extinguished in terms of discovery. Ooh, goodness me. Is that where I haven't been? No. Is it below? Is it below? Above? Can't see. There's a cloud. It's like this direction. Um, the way it looks is like it's connected almost to this. And what's in here, by the way? Big wheel hydrant, battery, and fan. Some decent stuff there, but I'll hold off. It is down there. Okay. Now, where is the floral-looking island? That is off to the left. And that is low, but it is not that low. Okay, so we use this launcher, get over to the floral, and then hopefully Tolan can blow us on over to the lower island that we have not yet been to. This might actually not even take us over there. This might pop us up to this thing. Yeah. I mean, we're up here. Have we been up here? We have indeed. Okay, well, hey, good to know, good to know, good to know. And... Where... Where, oh, okay, there you are. I was like, I, I've lost it. Did I go to the right place? It's anyone's guess. I have, but barely. Now, will this one fall? Look at that. There's another Gleok. Look at you, you big gross salamander. I don't like you anymore after my experiences with your king. It was very rude. Still can't take a photo of it from back here. And this has not fallen either. Fascinating. We, we're coming across uh, several of them now in a row. Or at least two in a row. Is two several? Probably not. Not technically. Either which way, we've come across two in a row now that have not fallen after the preceding, I don't know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty-five had fallen. Probably not that many. Probably like three. Either which way. It felt like a lot. And it felt like a for sure thing. A foregone conclusion, if you will, that they would all fall. Lo and behold, I was wrong. I was wrong. I can't believe it. Or can I? I don't know. Either which way. We're here. Wait, ooh, this is... This is Harry's father. Oh my god, sir. It's an honor to meet you, Harrison. Goodness gracious. Please, please. Call me Harry Senior. <laughs> oh! Oh, I'll call you. I'll call you. Let's do a thing here, actually. If we... If we give Harry Senior... Anything at all. Right? Like, if we just give him the apple, infuse it to him. 
Now that is an auto build, yes? This whole this whole beast? Yes. How how expensive is Harry Sr.? Oh! Oh, Harry, Harry Sr. is a bit too rich for my blood, all right? Harry Sr. is not drinking the uh, the Dr. Thunder. Harry Sr. has got full strength Dr. Pepper. Goodness gracious. Can't afford that. Now, let's take a look at the map once more. We are essentially done here. I don't know. There's this little thing. So these little tiny islands, uh, they seem to only have weapons and shields. And that's not necessarily something that I really need to investigate. At least not now. And if we look over here. This is something we do need to investigate. So I think that coming down from the the temple, would that make the most sense? Or could we get there from the floating ball? We have gone to this. Let's check. No, forget it. Let's just do the temple. All right. We already know the water temple is like as gosh darn elevated as you can get. So we may as well just float over from there. Being the fact that the sphere and the water temple share a relatively similar distance from the location we're trying to get to with one of them being obviously more elevated whether or not the sphere is elevated enough is largely inconsequential because we know that the water shrine will be or water temple excuse me but what is a temple if not a shrine right in some capacity now that's the way we need to go it's not going to tell us it's trying to give us the map of the temple itself which is wild it's been a long time since we've been here how do you feel about this sidon sidon you doing all right He's doing fine. We, I love the low gravity. It's so fun to jump like this. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> it's so fun to jump like that when you do it successfully. Oh, the constructs are back. Hello. Can I just assault you real quick? That uh, that's fine. Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. Glad. Glad we could come to an agreement on your demise. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> we, we, you and I did not have such an agreement. How dare you poke me in the backside like that? All right, that is very much illegal. You sick boy, come here! All my friends don't take kindly to your assault, molesting the hero like this. For shame! All right, we already are low on arrows, and I don't want to have to use them, but we already did it. So there you go. Boca bro, we we broke a bow. <laughs> yes, we broke a bro. Whatever. We have the things. Now, it was this direction, was it not? It's a circular sort of... Get that world map. There we go. It's like it's a circular sort of construct-y, perhaps gliok sort of thing. And it's to the right of where we are looking. It's not that, is it? That seems too far away. That seems too... Oh, yeah. No, that's almost all the way south on the map. As far south as you can get. Okay. Oh, it's down there. Oh, look at that. Hello, hello. We assuredly should be able to reach that, right? Right? I mean, we probably will run out of stamina during our uh, our descent. Hey, that's the first time I've said that. And while normally we are ascending, now we are descending. But we should be able to have the total amount of stamina, what with the combined power of our three wheels and our elixirs. To accomplish this. Is that? Well, that's the that's the Zora's toilet, the toilet temple. I was gonna say that's a big whirlpool. It all looks very different from up here. What is this? What is that? Have I been there? Um that's like directly underneath where we're going. And I have been there. Well, okay. Very interesting. I don't remember that. I mean, probably not necessarily a, a sentence with much meaning coming from me, but I, mm, that, that looks like a memorable place. It looks like a crater lake. I mean, it looks like it's the top of, a, like the top of an old volcano. Been blown out. Rain filled the basin. Maybe it looks different once we're on the surface, and it would look perhaps a little bit more uh, memorable, I guess, or at least a little bit more familiar. Not from here. This thing's got nothing? It's gotta have a construct, right? It do. Oh, how it do. Hello, you! I don't really have a whole lot of arrows to deal with this. Can I just, like, land on your head? Is that permissible? You consent to that for me. It'd be quite nice of you if you did. Thank you. 
Yeah, let me just poke you right in the headache there. Very good. See, it wasn't that easy. Now, where, where's your brain? There it is. Brain damage for the slammage. You can't be a flux construct, too, and expect me not to kill you. In one go, too. Look at that. I felt quite nice. Should be on the charges. And he also had a chest. Is this another map? Oh, we double mapping today. My goodness gracious. No. Sages will. We're adding a diversity of treasures. How delightful. Now. We do have a strong zone. I well, that's the same thing as this. It's the exact same. They're both 15s. Fine, whatever. We'll do this. Infuse it just so that we can take it. Because why not? I mean, I'm, I, quite possible I get rid of this. But at the very least, it's another hammer. And that's neat too. So back to the map. What else have we got to get over here? All of this then. Ooh, this might be another. Oh, this looks like a a tall thing for another piece of the glide outfit uh for presumably the final piece of the glide outfit we got the feet we got the torso we just need the headpiece that's it right there isn't it how are we gonna get there gotta go to this thing first that seems very elevated to me and like shockingly so in comparison to everything else what is that have i been there no no i've not been there either so those are both uh, very interesting masses that I'm keen on exploring. All right, sometimes you come across a giant mass and you're like, I gotta get my eyes on that. I'd get my whole body on that mass next time. So thank you so very much for watching. I sincerely do appreciate it and I hope that you enjoyed yourself. With that said, I'll see you tomorrow.